Yo what's up guys it's Aptex here in today's video we'll be trying out a brand new windows emulator for android known as the winlator android wb64 now basically winlator wb64 is the version 10.2 of winlator android with native glibcy as well as amazing performance in today's video we'll be testing out gtfi as well as checking out how well does this windows emulator actually work but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started to start off winlator WB64 is a completely open source Windows emulator for Android on its official GitHub. You'll be able to see the minimum requirements of this emulator. You need at least Android version 9 or above along with that Snapdragon 460 processor or above. So it even supports the lowest of the low end Android devices, Adreno 610 GPU or higher along with that at least 1 GB of RAM available. So that's definitely very low requirement. Now Winlater WB64 is basically the light version of Winlater Android which is very well supported on and Android devices. You'll be able to see it even supports Vortex graphics drivers so all of the newest Snapdragon processors are also compatible with this emulator. The version of Winlater WB64 that we'll be using is the version 10.2 and you'll be able to see in this update you get lowest latency possible of any other Windows emulator so there will be no input delay while playing your favorite Windows games on your Android device. The developer has also updated DXVK wrappers to newest versions along with that added OPT MX11 for improved graphics and Perf X11 for better performance the choice is yours so that's what we'll be checking out later on in the video as well along with that updated screen resolution loading is way faster updated components as well as frame rate option updated environment variables box 64 added native glibcy as well for better performance and much more with that being said what are we waiting for let's start setting it up right away and if you guys want me to test it out on a low-end android device then do let me know in the comment section down below first of all as soon as we open the simulator you'll be able to see theming has been changed compared to the original win later android we get a brand new amazing blue theme which i personally prefer compared to the light blue theme inside the win later android as you guys can see if we just cut and tap on these three lines it says wine box 64 the wb64 version of win later android so here we'll just go and go to settings and here in terms of box 64 version you'll get only one box 64 version but in terms of presets you'll be able to choose performance preset duplicate it afterwards tap on edit and make sure to set the safe flags level to zero afterwards tap on the presets once again and make sure to choose your performance preset after a tap on the tick mark option now we'll just go and tap on the plus button to create our brand new windows emulator container so here in terms of screen size you get lot of screen size options which is again one of those features that i really appreciate inside the wb64 emulator because you even get 20 to 9 aspect ratio for widescreen but for today's video we'll be going with 1067 by 480 resolution after a tap on show fps enable pulse audio in terms of graphics driver you get turny portek as well as virgil in in terms of DX wrappers, you get Wine D3D, DXVK, VKD3D as well as CNC Draw. Now Wine D3D support is here which means you will be also able to emulate this game on Mali GPU Android device with the help of Virgil graphics driver. In terms of DXVK configuration, you get 2.4.1 as well as 1.10.3 but if you just go and tap on this button, you will be able to add all the latest DXVK wrappers as well all the way up to DXVK 2.6.1. So that is pretty amazing. Well for today's video, we'll go with the default DXVK 2.4.1, why not? It's pretty decent and same goes with the graphics driver where you'll be able to import turnip graphics driver but as you guys can see it is currently unavailable in this version of beta glipsy so unfortunately you can only use 25.0.0 but that is pretty amazing as well it is the latest turnip driver in terms of graphics driver we'll go with Vortex because the device which i am using in today's video has a snapdragon 8 elite processor now what we'll do is go to the advanced settings and here make sure to choose the performance one preset startup selection set it to aggressive and windows version keep it as windows 7 Afterwards, in terms of environment variables, you guys will be able to see Wine eSync has been enabled as well as everything else has been set by default. We'll just go and go to drives and tap on the add button and select the place where I have kept my games. Once that has been done, we'll just go and tap on the tick mark option and there we go, our Windows emulator container has been successfully created. So let's tap on the play button and the emulator is crashing for some reason. So we'll just go and close that. We'll try reopening it but no for some reason the emulator is just crashing. Well guys I found out the reason why it was crashing that was because of the screen size we kept it as a 20 to 9 aspect ratio but it was just not supported. So I have downscaled it to 800 by 600 resolution afterwards we'll just cut and tap on tick mark and tap on the play button and there we go our winlater wb64 container has successfully started with the Vortex graphics driver. So let's just go and toggle full screen afterwards go to the start section go to system tools and test direct 3d to 
see if our graphical output is working and surely enough it is working as you guys can see we are getting stable 60 fps and it is running on my snapdragon 8 elite processor android device with that being said let's start testing out our grand theft auto 5 inside the winlater wb64 emulator now as i am using a very less resolution the screen will be stretched out so that might be an issue but don't worry guys i hope you guys ignore it we'll just go ahead and go to input controls and here make sure to enable virtual gamepad i'm unsure if virtual gamepad works or not but hopefully it should work if it doesn't work we'll import custom on-screen touch controls profile once again we can see the fps bar at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting 30 fps and the vsync is enabled i can't disable the vsync because i was using graphics pack inside my gta 5 so whenever i open the graphics settings the game crashes and we'll find out if this is better than even the game hub windows emulator and there we go our game has successfully started as you'll be able to see gta 5 running on our android device so you'll be able to see the virtual gamepad on screen touch controls are not working so here we'll go to input controls tap on import profile and import the gta 5 on screen touch controls once that has been done we'll just go and select it here go back and here it has not been updated so you gotta restart your emulator so here after restarting the game you guys will be able to see our on-screen touch controls are finally working so let's tap on the enter button and quickly hop inside our car to finally try some free roam after a very long time it's been about few months since i last tested out gta 5 inside any windows emulator for android and you guys will be able to see on winlater wb64 it is working properly at almost 30 fps and i'm pretty sure we would get even more than 30 fps if the vsync was turned off but as i mentioned before as i have added graphics pack in my gta 5 i won't be able to turn off vsync because as soon as i go to settings the game will just crash other than that you will be able to see the on-screen touch controls are pretty trash they are so sensitive you can't even move around your character it is definitely recommended that you pair up your emulator with a virtual gamepad or a controller for the best gaming experience possible but in my opinion as far as i am able to see from my initial testing this simulator is actually running pretty well on my device and here we go finally i have gotten the hang of the on screen touch controls i got a move my thumb so much <laughs> just to make sure that the car is going in the straight line honestly speaking i am pretty impressed with this emulator i can't wait to test it out on my low-end android device after this video reaches 250 likes i'll be testing out the winlater wb64 or the winlater lite version inside my low-end android device so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye